uh, today I am going to be making uh, Valentine's Day soap. Uh, so basically I have these uh, two heart shape uh, embeds which I will be placing inside the soap and I have these uh, very beautiful heart shape uh, embeds which I will be placing on top of the soap. I have uh, my oils ready uh, to go. I have my lye water solution ready. Uh, in my oils, in my oils, what I have is uh, 250 grams of coconut oil, uh, 300 grams of palm oil. Uh, that's sustainable palm oil. I have. 250 grams of olive oil, I have 100 grams of hemp oil and 100 grams of grapeseed oil. Uh, in, my, uh, in my oils I've also added uh, a teaspoon of sugar, a tablespoon of kaolin clay, um, a teaspoon of sodium lactate and I have put in this purple mica. It's called the Guilty Grape from Mad Micas because I want my soap to be uh, purple. Uh, so I'm hoping it will look good with uh, these two embeds. In my live water over here, I uh, made this quite some time back. This Everything here is at room temperature. In my live water, I have 300 grams of water, uh, 141 grams of lye. I have uh, tussle silk uh, and that's about it. So these are the ingredients. The fragrance I'm going to be using today is called Love Spell from Bee Scented. I've taken 10% um, of my oil weight for the fragrance so I'm hoping that it should work. It should give a good fragrance. I have suited up for safety. I have my safety goggles. I have my gloves. I have full sleeves. Uh, I have full pants. I have closed uh, shoes so let's start soaping I uh, am just going to mix this with my hand mixer though I mixed it really well but I still you know don't want to leave any clumps of the cable and clay in there so let's burp the hand mixer Just add the lye solution slowly. I'll get this to um, a light trace and then I'll add in my fragrance oil.
this has come to a light trace. I'll add in the fragrance oil. It does smell wonderful so I'm hoping this scent will stick and uh, the soap is going it will smell good at the end I want it at uh, a thick trace because I want uh, these embeds to be uh, not completely at the bottom so scent doesn't accelerate or rise or anything it's a well uh, behaving scent from what I can see it's the first time that I'm using it I've never used it before This is so uh, nice, the scent is behaving so well that you know you can actually have swirls if you like to work with swirls. I think I'll just get one layer of this put in and let it stay for a couple of minutes and then go for the next I'm using this mold which I got of Amazon. I'm not making a big batch. It's just a two pound batch. So it's not so big because it's just for Valentine's Day. I'm not going to have it for the whole year. Give it a few taps. few taps to get all the air bubbles out and let it be for a little um, so that you know, the soap can uh, harden a little bit so that I can put my embeds and they don't sink to the bottom I'll get you back when I'm ready to put in the embeds uh, and put the rest of the soap in. Hi. So now what I've done is uh, in the remaining batter, I just added a little bit of the Pow Wow Purple from Mad Micas. It's another purple. Uh, I was not really happy with the uh, earlier color so I thought I need a little more uh, purple to it so I added that now uh, for the embed I am just going to spray it because I made these embeds quite long time back 
these are cold process soap itself i just sprayed this with 99% uh, rubbing alcohol i'll just place this inside hopefully it will stay in place and we'll pour some more very slowly I'm trying to put the embeds at different levels. Couple of taps. Oh, I didn't make a mess. Okay. No problem. Soaping is a messy business, okay. I'll wait for a couple of minutes. I'll spray this in the meantime. Okay, I hope it is straight. I'll know that only once I unmold. And I will go with the rest of the soap. I'm trying to give this a smooth finish. I don't want uh, any kind of texture to this. I'll wait with this for some time so that uh, these embeds don't sink in. I'll come back when we're ready to put these uh, cute little hearts in. I am back. So, uh, I have made these markings on my, I don't know if you all can, these you know uh, they're one inch distant from each other and uh, i'm going to be placing these embeds at that distance because my bars are normally an inch each so That one got messed up, let me just move it.
while I was waiting, I also had these two, uh, the remaining so put in these two. Uh, I just use these either as you know samples or gifts or for my own use. So now we have all these placed. I will spray it with 99% uh, rubbing alcohol and I'll put it in the oven. I will unmold this after 18 to 24 hours I get your back uh, when I unmold for the unmolding and the cutting so we can see how it looks like from the inside it has been more than 24 hours since we made uh, the Valentine's Day soap uh, I'm going to be unmolding it and trying to cut it so let's see how it looks uh, I need a little help from my viewers and my subscribers I would like uh, if you all could suggest a name for the soap because I haven't thought about one the fragrance I have used is um, love spell uh, it's the, it, it smells fruity uh, it, it's a very nice fragrance so if anyone can actually uh, help me with a name for the soap uh, that will be really nice you can put in your suggestions in the comments so I can see and I can uh, decide on what I can name the soap let's go to the cutting I have unmolded this uh, this is what the whole bar looks like these are two different shades of purple let's see what the cut looks like I got the soap cutter of uh, Etsy it's uh, uh, Uncle Andy's soap cutter it's really nice it helps adjust this as per the hearts that I have placed so I cannot be really really this is what the inside looks like looks pretty good um, except that this heart it feels very light but yeah, it looks nice It is still a little soft the soap but not too bad I, I mean it's workable it's mm. 
this one seems to be a little hard to cut but this one is pretty okay I don't know if you all can catch the glitter I had sprayed it with uh, sparkle me red mica from uh, mad micas that I don't cut it to the hearts placed on top. Would you see the little pressure that I have to put in cutting the soap is because of um, this embed. This is really really toughened up. it's still soft can you see this dent so when I hold the soap it still bends but that's fine it will harden up as it cures so. I like this color the when I put in the other mica the pow pow purple I like this color than this color this is more of a gray um, this is more like the purple I like the end of so that I can use these as you know um, fragrance samples for people who want to smell the soap at the market because I um, seal these I shrink wrap my soap so that uh, it's not touched by hand Um, 
I got nine bars out of that. And if you remember, I had these two for my own use. Let's unmold. I got these molds uh, from Michaels. It's still soft. Can you see? But it does unmold well, so yeah. I think you can catch the, the sparkle me red mica glitter over here. So that was for this soap guys um, if you like these videos if you like to see how I make my soaps my bath bombs or my uh, shower steamers my lip balms my body butters you all can subscribe uh, if you like this video please hit the like button uh, if you think it's helpful for anybody do share this and see you all again in the next one thank you